Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. The title is about zinc oxide nanoparticle for anti-corrosion nanocoating of carbon steel. The purpose of presentation is about reviewing the selected journal. Therefore, the overview of the presentation will cover four main points, which are introduction, experimental, result, and lastly, the conclusion. What are nanocoatings? The term nanocoating refers to nanoscale thin films that are applied to surface in order to create or improve a material functionalities such as corrosion protection, water and ice protection, friction reduction, anti-fooling and antibacterial properties, safe cleaning, heat and radiation resistance, and also thermal management. Nanocoatings offer significant benefits for application in the aerospace, defense, medical, marine and oil industries have driven manufacturers to incorporate multifunctional coatings in their products. The objective of this research is to investigate the interfacial compatibility of metal oxide nanoparticle and epoxy to be used as the nanocoating. Next, we proceed to the experimental method. There were 24 pieces of mild carbon steel coupons used in this study. The surface of the sample was ground and polished with a manual hand grinder machine. The samples were then rinsed in distilled water and dried with acetone to remove traces of water. This step was done quickly to avoid premature corrosion. Then, each coupon was taped with an X marking on one of its surface and dried for a day. The samples were weighed prior to immersion tests in order to monitor weight loss. On average, each coupon weighed approximately about 260 grams. The coupons were completely immersed in four different media, which are hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solution for the chemical resistance test, while salt solution and water for the corrosion test. Each coupon was degreased with acetone and rinsed with distilled water prior to immersion in the test solution. The samples were immersed in the various solution for 24 hours in 60 days. To obtain a homogeneous mix, zinc oxide powder was poured right after and continuous to be stirred for another 5 minutes. The modified epoxy coating was then applied onto carbon steel coupons by brush. The coupons were left to dry overnight in the lab at room temperature. Now, we will explore the result section. This section will discuss the corrosion rate of mild steel in different media using the weight loss method. Both weight loss and corrosion rate depend on certain factors physically and chemically. As we can see here, there are two graphs. First graph is about weight loss of zinc oxide and the other one is corrosion rate of zinc oxide by using the corrosion test. When we are using chemical resistance test, we will obtain the graph as highlight here. The mild steel was subjected to chemical environment whereby the coupons were immersed in acid and alkali. This is to study the strength and durability of the coating as well as the type of environment in which the coating may fail or delaminate. The appearance of mild steel in hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, water and also sodium chloride were observed. The corrosion effect observed in SCL medium was found to be quite severe as thick brownish red rust were formed on the surface of mild steel coupons. As opposed to the other mediums, the mild steel substrate in sodium hydroxide base were rather clean and does not show any obvious signs of corrosion. Sodium hydroxide seems to affect the epoxy coating rather than the substrate itself. Instead of affecting the substrate, sodium hydroxide alkali affects the performance of the coating and its durability. Referring to the figure of medium H2O and NACL, nanoparticle addition increased the performance of nanocoating. However, the addition of too much of nanoparticle will affect the properties of nanocoating. Here is the last part that I want to highlight. 
the different weight percentage of zinc oxide nanopowder exhibit different behavior when it reacts with the different kinds of medium. Based on the corrosion studies, mild steel corrodes faster and experience greater weight loss in salt water than in fresh water. The chemical resistance test conduct shows that acid medium is highly corrosive as compared to alkali medium. Corrosion decrease in the following trend from hydrochloric acid, sodium chloride, sodium hydroxide, and lastly water. Well, I have covered the points that I need to present today. That's all from me. Thank you.